talk to you about food. Now back in 2009 I used to watch a program called The Gadget Show and on The Gadget Show they uh, showed a product called the cob which is what's in this bag here. That's the cob and um, they went camping with it and they had a bit of a camp off, a bit of a camp cook off as you do and one chap has his camping gas grill and he's he's making his bacon and eggs and you know blah 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 the other guy gets his cob out cooks a roast dinner on it so in this and I was like blown away I was like I've got to have one <laughs> so uh, 2009 jumped on the uh, jumped on the interweb got onto the cob website and I, I ordered one and um, fast forward to 2022 and it's still going strong so we've made a, a couple of differences to it with alterations since I bought it in 2009 but I just wanted to give you a, a review like 13 years later and since buying it I did buy a couple of uh, extra accessories which are um, in the bag here so I bought a kit with it originally and the kit came with those. Get it out so you can see it properly. Okay. <laughs> Scarlet's here, she's just uh, just out of camera shot. Kit came with a base. Now this base is amazing. Um, you put your fuel in, in here, you've got a moat so you can put spuds and, and veg and stuff around it. And now cook whilst you're cooking your, your roast dinner on the top and you can do a full chicken in this it's, it's you know phenomenal so that's the bait it doesn't get hot either so you can put it on the grass don't have to worry about it you can pick it up when it's cooking as i said as long as you hold it from the base here it doesn't get hot and that's because the the inner part uh, comes out so so that's the base so you get the base with it and uh, <laughs> Runs up and about. That's what comes with it for your coals, which I'll, I'll show you in just a minute. And then you get, I got this roasting rack, the standard, sorry, uh, like roasting plate, and that was the roasting rack. Now, again, I know they've changed this since I bought mine. I think it's got sides on it now. It's got, you know, it's a bit, a little bit different, but as I said, this is 13 year old. So that goes on there. And if you, I think if you buy the basic model, that's all you get with your lid. And once that's filled up with a cobblestone or some coals, it will burn for um, up to two hours, which is amazing for cooking anything. Um, I've been away and camped with um, three other people um, and you know, cooked for the four of us for an evening meal using just that there. I did buy the... When I bought it, I bought the upgraded pack. So I also got uh, a stone for doing your, your steak and stuff. It's a grilled stone, which is again cast iron. That's great. I've got a pan there. That's been amazing for doing breakfast in the morning, baking and eggs, beans. Stick it all in the same pan. Get it on the cooker. Off you go. This bash bosh, and a stainless steel wok, which I've never used. So, as I said, it will cook just fine on the base equipment. Other things I have bought since owning it was I bought the barbecue kit. So you get a, a grilled top like that and a bigger pan for your coals. Get some real heat going on uh, to do your barbecue. Absolutely love that. Cook on that a lot when, when, we're, when we're away. And I bought this. Now, this isn't uh, the official cob one. 
the official cob one's designed to sit inside the new um, the new grill um, and that kind of holds it in place this is a Weber one which I found which is the same size I can put it on there that comes off um, put the lid on make yourself a pizza get it nice and toasty and uh, pop your pizza on and you can cook your pizza in it as I said this thing is amazing uh, it's lasted longer than my marriage <laughs> um, <laughs> it's lasted a lot longer than my marriage and it's just brilliant so the, the as I said a bit different this week I just, I just wanted to show you show you this um, and what I'm going to do uh, now is I'm actually going to cook something on it and show you the, the, the quality of the things that come off it so give me a little box here this is what I take when we go out in the van and what I took to Coniston when we went to Coniston in my box here we've got these um, charcoal brickets as they call them so I'm just going to fill this up with these charcoal brickets as you can see and as I said once this is filled up and lit and burning this will burn as I said for up to two hours and for me I've used the cobblestone cobblestone are great they don't make any mess but to be honest with you these brickets don't make a lot of mess either which is why I'm quite happy to use them. They're cheaper than the cobblestone. That's like a compressed uh, compressed coconut. But in here, as you can see, four, eight, ten brickets. Ten little brickets. And as I said, that's going to burn now for two hours. Need something to get it started. Let's get a little bit of a fire block on the go. Oh, I took too many things on the hands. So one, I like to use two, two little fire blocks in there, there we go, happy days, put those back in there where they see, got my little gas lighter here, oh, I've ended up with black hands, I just don't know, get these lit, get them burning, and it is actually an attachment to to drop this on but I'll just do it by hand if I'm real quick hopefully not burn myself there we go and uh, we're off so just gonna leave it now for a good 15 20 minutes just wanted to take this opportunity just to thank everybody that reached out to me after last week's video um, really thoughtful of you all and just to thank all of you subscribers we're about 73 strong now hopefully we'll, uh, we'll hit 100 at some point but uh, yeah, thanks for everything, everyone. So it's been about uh, been about five minutes or so. As you can see, the coals in here are starting to go a little bit white. So what I'm going to do to get this nice and warm is pop this just on there. There is a little tool for doing this, uh, a little handle. Um, I've got two of them, and I've misplaced them both. So putting that on there is just going to heat that up real quick. And I'm just going to put the lid on, but put it ajar, because if you put the lid on fully, it gets too hot and melts the handle. So uh, I don't want to do that. And what I'm going to do now is just give it another five or ten minutes, just to let it get really nice and hot. And then uh, then we'll stick some food on it, eh? That's what we'll do. And whilst I'm waiting, time for a trusty beer. Okay, it's been a good ten minutes or so now. Tongs, turn upstairs and give them a wash, because you should never... Use the same tongs you've been taking your brickets with on your food. So no carcinogenics. So we're not about giving them a clean. This is uh, nice and steaming, as you can see. Went to the, went to the butchers this morning. I'm not one for uh, supermarket food. So I can have some nice from the butchers. What I've got here is a couple of steak burgers. sizzle very much, doesn't need to, it's nice and slow, put that one on there, put the steak burgers just there, a 
as I said, this is the slowest way of cooking stuff with this. Um, we can use the barbecue attachment with, with the extra coals, it cooks a lot quicker. So, this is just to show you how amazing it is for 13 years. Bang it and it keeps the food a bit more succulent. So, as well as the steak burgers, some banging garlic chicken kebabs. Feast tonight's garlic. And then you forget about it until they're ready. Uh, these will probably take about 40 minutes. So uh, we'll be back once they're done. Today's video is not sponsored by Cobb, it's not sponsored by Insta360, it's not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> I've owned this Cobb for 13 years and I've used it on many camping trips. Uh, when I've been to Silverstone, it's been fantastic, couldn't be without it. And now we've got the van and we're going away in the van. Um, it's an absolute necessity. I would not be leaving the house without it. What I'm going to do real quick is just flip these over. We've had uh, about half an hour. There we go. It's starting to get a little bit of colour on them. Beautiful. Let's uh, flip the old kebabs. Do like stuff to cook evenly, you see. As you can see, nothing's burnt. If I'd, oh, I say nothing's burnt. Put the lid down a sec. If I'd um, cooked them on the barbecue mode with a barbecue tray, a little bit burnt there, um, they'd be black by now. As you can see, everything's looking amazing. It's a big old piece of stilt in there because these are steak burgers and they are nearly ready. Kebabs are looking good. I think they're ready, ready to go. And uh, wow, have I looking forward to this. As you can see, whoa, these burgers are going everywhere. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby! Spill a bit of cheese. Not worrying about that. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. I'll put it over there because double of it. Leave that bit. Look at that for a burger. Oh my god. Don't even know if I can close it. Ooh. Oh yeah. I want that bit of stuff in. Give that to you, Scar. If you like a bit of stinky cheese, you have that. Oh, you have that bit as well. Oh man. This is just going to be to die for. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Just to give you an idea of the scale of the mess. As you can see, still on the original coal. They're all still in the middle. That'd cook the same again. Off them ten coals. It's a fabulous bit of kit. Sit here now and just get a bit of a warm off it. There you go, just uh, doesn't get hot on the bottom at all, put my hand underneath, there you go, everything is contained in that basket, which is perfect, all we've got time for this week, 
isn't it, little girl? You can have some chicken kebab, aren't you? You can have some chicken kebab. Thanks for watching. If you've got any value out of this video, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, that'd be great. Feel free to share it. If you're thinking about a barbecue, get yourself a cob, because they are fabulous. And uh, we'll see you next week.